bienvenidas a todas al segundo bloque. Se sienten cómodas porque vamos a comenzar muy pronto. So people, uh, I think that, that I need to start because uh, now it's uh, seven uh, and two minutes and we are in the second block. So I'm really, really, really happy that you are all with us in this long day. But... Y que por favor todas, eh, todas y todes se aseguren de tener sus micrófonos cerrados para poder eh, continuar con la, con la presentación de Bárbara. Zoe, you are muted. Please unmute. Oh, but people, I already say everything on the introduction. Please <laughs> unmute. Uh, and I say, Eva, welcome. Everybody, welcome. You can't believe Bienvenida. what I every, everything say. Uh, so uh, we are in the second block. We start, en el this, segundo bloque. we start this beautiful day with opening, with Parvati, and also we have a beautiful panel with Jill Greenhouse, Ratina Devi, and Maria X. So in the second block, we will continue in the beautiful, beautiful conversation, and we have an amazing artist all around the world. So we will first uh, host the amazing uh, Barbara Carvalho, And ok, en este will... segundo bloque vamos a tener unas panelistas muy, muy increíbles y vamos a presentar a la increíble artista Bárbara Carvalho y su trabajo y lo que ha hecho. Just, uh, um, just will... a minute, just a minute. We should put the Spanish into the translation channel now. Sí. So that it's not everybody hearing the Spanish translation. Exactly. But it's okay to be a little bit learned. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's okay. I think Christina needs to put Yolanda into the channel. And then um, now we don't hear her, so it's okay. Yeah, it's good. But let me know when to continue. I'm just getting the, the screen up for you with the block. And there we go. Carry yes. on. Yes. So in the block... Second block, we have a we will have a Barbara Carvalho, then performance from Deborah Kant, a late, and uh, we will have an artist talk with amazing Carolina Spych and Zip Theater, and uh, in the end of this, you know, beautiful Magdalena Day, we will have a mobilize, demobilize, and Helen will introduce later everything. So uh, I really want to thank all of you. And we have a, uh, like uh, some kind of Zoom tips that will be really nice to we now see on the screen. Uh, coming, coming. Thanks. So like you see, like uh, we will have a keep video muted when uh, the artists talk. Uh, we will ask questions in the chat. We will use handphones for the better audio if you uh, don't have everything, it's okay. Uh, and check uh, hide non-video participant in your Zoom video settings. This is uh, like everything uh, important. And then, uh, and then I, I really want to say thanks today to Christina, who is... Uh, uh, co-host and I really want to say Carla who will collect in the chat questions and I really want to uh, say also Helen the job and uh, Irlanda that translate. Uh, you, you see the team and we organize you know now some uh, times and uh, you will read the names of the people who organize and also people who help and volunteer in translation but also in different stuff. So then uh, we go in the next slide. This is like performing, you know, like presentation. We practice a little bit, but not enough. <laughs> so, okay, maybe I continue without uh, the, the, the uh, um, slide. I will tell you like the all of us, you see the team of the people, like we are volunteering here more than seven months. 
So one of the things it's really cool if you put me the background with donate, this is my favorite part. I think that we are really work a lot of stuff for free. So this is opportunity to you share among your friends who maybe you know that they have a money. We till now collect more than thousand euros, but we'll cover all technical parts and some of the things will go to the artists that it needed this pandemic uh, time. So I would like really now, if I don't have any more on these slides to say, Helen, do we have a more slides or I can give the, the, the floor to- You can give it, give the floor to Barbara. Eh, thanks a lot, Barbara. Welcome to Magdalena, uh, uh, first online uh, fe festival. And I will like to say, because I'm so happy to, to, to know more about you, Barbara Carvalho is an actress and performer and lecturer in theater and dance. Since 2010, she works in Frankfurt am Main and it's part of the collective Antagon Theater Acticon. Previously, she completed the theater pedagogy education at the Federal University of Bahia in Brazil. Since 2018, she has been studying for an MA in choreography and performance at the Institute for Applied Theater Studies in the Justus Liebling <laughs> University of uh, Gießen. <laughs> she uh, develops educational and artistic projects with Afro Brazilian and contemporary dance, performance, and physical theater. For uh, the last five years, she has led the International Women Theater Festival, the Magdalena Project in Frankfurt am Main. And this is something that Phil Barbara will uh, introduce now. And uh -huh. this is Women Performing Europe, the Magdalena Project Across Borders. Thanks, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, yeah. So interesting to listen everything. Um, yeah, first of all, I would like really to say thank you very much for organizing this gathering, this being together and stay connected. I, I really like it and I know how it's hard to organize events and especially uh, to put together so much uh, uh, effort from different parts of the world. And I'm just saying that I'm amazed from this uh, work that you have been doing all everyone when I see the organizers and the volunteers just to say that it's, uh, it's touched me also a lot and give a lot of energy to keep on with my work when I see your motivation when I see your hunger for gathering and being connected and yeah today I'm here to 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 share one project that I start in 2020 so it was actually I wrote the application last year in the beginning of last year and uh, for European project but it's also part of the the Magdalena project in Frankfurt and for me just to try to to be reduce there is a life before and after Magdalena and I don't know if I should make a break now for the translation I hope that's everything fine that give me a sign now huh, if I'm speaking too fast because as a Brazilian uh, living in work in Germany, I know that's also very hard to 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 integrate and to learn a language. You see that my English is also a, a kind of a work in progress as well. But I, I try now for you to share this uh, uh, journey that I have here in Frankfurt and how uh, this project, now the European project, became through. I will just uh, share now with you some slides that I prepared. And I try to, yes. Can you see? Yeah, I think so, no? So uh, yeah. that's, the, that's the, 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 ah, I tried to make it like this. Yeah. Better? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Nice, yeah, because everybody's without camera is a bit strange for me. <laughs> the, the, the kind of technological uh, uh, approach. So the design is very much inspired by also Magdalena Online Festival. 
the project Women Perform Europe, the Magdalena project across borders, is something that uh, uh, starts to be a dream when I organized the Internationales Frauen Theater Festival in Frankfurt. And in the moment when I start to write applications uh, as a Brazilian woman migrating and moving in this culture and find uh, space for my work, it was really hard to, to find uh, people that believe in this work and especially believe in the work of women in arts. And since five years that I'm doing this work parallel to my artistic work, and a friend of mine just said that through European projects, it's also important and, and interesting to apply for foundings. And I discovered the Erasmus Plus pro uh, program. It's a program dedicated to adult education and uh, uh, kind of development in different fields of professional uh, education. And this for me it was again an uh, important issue to say that uh, the artistic field also is a professional uh, uh, frame that needs to be somehow uh, always update that's the uh, adult learning uh, in artist field so the the in germany we said vital building for artists is very important so the mm. keep on learning for adults is very important and i of course through the magdalena project the the main uh, uh, argument or the main uh, point of the project is uh, ed feministic education for artists, women and men or intergender, everyone. So how to create a space in which uh, uh, gender equality has a frame in which we as women especially can discuss and reflect about it. And also considering the, the diversity of what we women mean so, and then come in the second part of the title, the Magdalena Project Across Borders. So the, all kind of borders, the geographic borders, the cultural borders, the generation borders, the, the also cis or, 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 or trans borders. So it's a project that is very much questioning or try to, to give visibility to what is behind our work and understanding each other. So it's a project that's searching very much to create connection between us and also a space to embrace difference, different in diversity. So I just move to the next slide. And we are in this project, four partners, Protagon from Germany, uh, Odin Theater from Denmark, uh, actually with uh, Julia leading transit festival, Teraz Politz from Poland and Theatre Nucleo from Italy. I have this slide here, uh, but it's more like for me to have kind of gender, uh, general uh, um, picture. So also for the ones who are not speaking, it's not so much. Uh, so keep on listening to what I'm saying, just like for me to get this um, uh, a picture what I go to, to, to share with you. And uh, we have the first uh, 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 idea in creating a kind of educational program of two years between these partners. Also, I forgot to say Teatro Nucleo, now in Teras Politz. Uh, uh, Teras Politz is a group that I get to know last year, uh, very, uh, how to say, in an event without really being connected or have experience of working together. I just met one of the, the, the members of the collective and we say, yeah, let's do a project together and then works. And Teatro Nucleo is also the same. I didn't have so much experience to work with them. But through the application, it was possible to start a kind of relationship. And coming back to the oh, coming back to the to the idea, what's the project? So it's an educational program of exchanging and learning activities and discussion international level about social inclusion, equality, integration, and pioneering practices of feministic education, the cultural field. So that's a kind of Erasmus language, how they they would like to, to know what is the project about. And I'll just to come back here to the, to the partners. So four countries, Germany, Denmark, Poland, and Italy. And yeah, the, the main idea of Erasmus project is also create a, a, a result no? together. And the application that I wrote, the name is called 
um, how to translate from German to an English at uh, just a moment is uh, exchange of good practices means that uh, through our practices together, we are going to develop a learning material in which we will share with the communities. The, the first learning material is kind of toolkit for women in leadership in culture work. And, and this we are also going to have in five languages, in German, in English, Italian, Polish, and Danish. And the second material is a publication of a handbook with reflection about the project activities. And the last material is a YouTube channel with seven web series with some statements and invited artists from, of course, the Magdalena Project Network. And uh, the main goal of the whole, the entire project, so is it to encourage women to position themselves in face social conflict, extremist nationalism, pandemics, discrimination, racism, but also to give a lot of effort to professional development activities for women with social advantages. And of course, re research and compilation of common results. So it's also very much about uh, looking what, how is the reality of women in these four countries? How is it in Germany? How is it in Poland, in Italy, in Denmark? It's about to create a common ground in which we uh, exchange experience and knowledge together. And in the photos that you have seen, there's also some photos about the festival here in Germany, the Frauen Festival, that of course is, uh, is a kind of following the tradition of the Magdalena festivals in which is possible or important to have space in which women are not only working together, but also discussing, sharing experience about their backgrounds and also difficulties, but also a successful experience. That's also very important to say, that it's important to share uh, what is working, eh? how we are dealing with different problems in different contexts and which kind of strategies we can uh, develop together across borders. <laughs> And uh, next slide. So I, I thought it will be important to share with you, like really transparent how the project is framed because I'm also here to kind of open up the possibility and I'm searching very much of participation for women uh, uh, that I right now I don't know for the Magdalena project. So I thought it would be important to share with you how it was wrote there in the application. So it was planned to have 24 months. We already start last year with the Frauen Festival that we organize in Frankfurt, or where it happened, we will go to this slide. And the Erasmus Plus project, uh, there is kind of, uh, this is also the, the application language. They are kind of uh, um, plan that we follow and that they call, for example, transnational project meetings, means that we are getting together from the four countries to plan the project. And then what they call is a short term staff trainings that's actually the the moment in which we are doing workshop teaching and learning activities together from the four countries and then we have again kind of transnational project meetings but of course during COVID times we did most of our meetings now online zoom meetings the only thing we did together it was the first uh, 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 that was also hybrid format so it was two partners in presence and two online with zoom but the only thing that we were really together and live analog, it was last year at our International Women Festival in Frankfurt. But coming back to the schedule, for the EU schedule, it was uh, planned to have another uh, staff training in the April of this year in Poland, but didn't happen. We are still waiting when will be. And another one will be in September in Italy. And, and this one's more clear because in Poland, when we plan all of this AU, what they call short-term staff trainings, that's actually what is already happening in, in festivals. For example, when you plan an event that you have a workshop, kind of workshop series with something, uh, uh, it's easier to kind of put this activity of your festival in the frame of Erasmus Plus project because it's kind of uh, vital buildings, kind of education for others somehow. And this in, in September is more, um, how to say, is more concrete because we'll be in the frame of a, of a festival, Totten Festival organized by Theatre Nucleum. 
So, and in Poland, it's difficult because the Poland partners, they are poets, they don't organize any, any festival. So it means that it's harder for them to have it clear, and especially in COVID times, it's hard to, to have a space and to have uh, the possibility to travel. So that's why this uh, event now in April was postponed, but we are still in contact through Zoom meetings. And um, it will be again like in September this year, these uh, uh, activities, this training in Perara at the Totten Festival. And next year, the idea is that we are going to meet in July or in June to transit a transit festival to have also Erasmus Plus Women Perform in Europe in the frame of another Magdalena Festival in Denmark. That is actually what we are planning to do. And of course, uh, now that the situation with COVID is getting better, we are more and more uh, uh, going for that option and try to not postpone. And just to say how the project starts. So it was last year in the frame of the Internationales Frauen Theater Festival, 24th until 27th of September here. And like I said before, the Erasmus Plus, it was a very important founding of the festival uh, because uh, first of all, we could invite the partners to be here as an artist, like to perform. So we have three international uh, uh, artists, groups that were here working together with us. And last year it was actually the only ones that we could have doing the, the, the problems and also the, the difficulties we have to, to, uh, con how to, say, to have concrete uh, um, agreement with artists because it was uh, not clear if the festival will happen until the last moment because the, the situation with tests and vaccination was very hard. So the project somehow gave to us the possibility that in frame of adult learning education, we could found the, 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 the participation of Julia and Odin Theater. And of course, uh, and Natasha Zertok from Teatro Nucleo and, and, Van, and all the, the other groups and also uh, Terras Politz. So they were here and they were paid by the Erasmus Plus project. And like um, in Magdalena Festival, they were also giving a workshop and participating in the workshop. And this was everything framed as uh, international uh, um, adult learning activity. Uh, Barbara, five minutes uh, left. Okay. Oh my God, I have so much to say. <laughs> I try to run. Thank you. And and at the Frau Festival, the title of the festival last year it was um, Collective Empowerment Across Borders. And the the thing of the festival it was very much, and also the project to give visibility for artists with migration background to create kind of transformation of experience of colonization, discrimination is experience in the experience of collective empowerment. And that's coming also from develop, for the development of the, the Magdalena project in Frankfurt that uh, I bring very much that issue that uh, is important to create the space of empowerment, consider diversity in frame of intersectional uh, discussion and also intersectionality in the feministic approach. I would just go through the slide because it's a bit uh, fast. So creating reflection, race, gender, class, and structure issues that interconnect the process of education, political position of women theater. So this was the first starting. And so we bring some important things and it was also a challenge how to do that in frame of festival in which we are very busy looking to productions and to participate in workshops that also are bringing kind of technical, uh, uh, how to say, uh, strengths to our own artistic work. But we try also all the time to thematize that in our workshops. And the idea, uh, this was the, the theme of the each, uh, uh, each uh, how to say, each uh, workshop has a theme. So in the Frau Festival, it was how to give you empowerment and how to be present and consider intersectionality in the, in the artistic work. With Terrapolitz, uh, in, in, it was the idea to make now in April, but probably we are going to do in the end of the year. It was to, to give visibility to women's dramaturgic work by reaching listening to theatric production by the female actors. And in Terrapolitz, also creating like this uh, uh, her stories and she directors, also giving other uh, uh, name for this work. That's also very important. They have this, this work in Poland. 
and uh, it's also um, a workshop these five days in Poland in which we are really looking for dialogue between generations and how this is going uh, uh, across uh, the, the, the country now, how the different generations, different contexts are coming together. I will just run a little bit. <laughs> and uh, we have some questions in the workshop uh, 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 that you can read here, how uh, uh, this, this the, the dramaturgic work basically uh, uh, is repeating this canon and how we can redefine the way how women are writing about uh, uh, the artistic uh, issues and how this dialogue could be uh, present. Oh my God, I have my 10 slides, but I try to make sure. And then the next one will be with Teatro Nucleo, also in September in frame of the Totten Festival. That is the main topic is to, to talk about maternity. So the, the question of be a mother, it be an artist. Uh, I just jump a little bit with slides. So that's uh, the, the, the crucial question. So just to, to uh, try to put together the first uh, uh, theme in frame of the, the, the workshop, it was women with migration background to include them in this, the feministic uh, community in, 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 in discussion in the theater world. The second question is about the dramaturgical renamed and reposition of women. So really named differently and to research the generational uh, uh, conflicts and thing. And the theater nuclear is also bringing the, the topic of motherhood and artistic work. And that's also very present in the COVID times in which the mothers and fathers and the families, they need to stay at home with children. Actually, it's also more expanded now to this, the, I think, to this question of family and, and, and uh, artistic work. And here we have some like way how we are going to, to do which kind of methodology. And yeah, I will just jump now to next year that's in, 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 in frame of the transit festival hosted by the Odin Theater. We are going to, to go through with uh, live stories and space for the voice of the participants. So the idea is also that in the frame, in frame of the festival, we are going to experience uh, different actually workshops. Now this is kind of following the first idea, but in, at the festival that Julia is going to program will be different topics. And um, so just to give an overview of the project activities, so learning, teaching, methodology, and pedagogical approach for adult learners, that's very much European language that we, we put it here, but it's also for you to share. And if you're interested to, to uh, write application to Erasmus Plus program, I will be more than happy to share my experience. Now we have two projects as organizers, over this one and the other one that I will speak later. But this is kind of just to say again, very much European language. So new uh, accompanying learning materials or kind of toolkits. So how to put together experience that have been sharing to other uh, uh, women. And I think that with through the Magdalena project, the, 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 the page, um, the, the open page uh, magazines is a, is a wonderful way of sharing and how to how we, actually the network is doing already and also for the homepage. And uh, also now the idea of create virtual mobility, online code for adult learners. And of course the main goal is create a strategic cooperation between uh, the partners in different uh, um, contexts no, internationally. And just to say that the festival, uh, the project is very much connected to the festival. And the year uh, we have uh, uh, the festival theme as women performing, um, as about the performing, oh my God, <laughs> sorry, I, I mix up. So Women Perform Europe is the project. And the theme of the festival that's happening in Germany is women performing selves. And from this theme, you are more than welcome to suggest uh, your work or to come to talk or to be here to host, uh, to lead a workshop or to be with us uh, 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 as a participant. We have an open call in the homepage that uh, uh, you can, uh, I can also put the link. And uh, in September from 13th of September until uh, 19th, you can uh, uh, be here with us. We plan to have the first 
three. Uh, oh, I try to, to. We we plan to have three um, three days from Monday to Wednesday of residence. And ah, someone's already sharing the, the link of the festival. And from Thursday until Sunday will be open for public. And this year we are also expanding the, the, the festival to public space, public sphere. So we are also going to, to participate uh, in the live outside to give also more, more visibility to our work. And yeah, thank you for the talk. Like I said, um, if you are interested in this Erasmus Plus project to participate of the workshops, but also to know how to write application or to be a partner for the next project that we are going to, to do, please let me know and let's stay in contact. Thank you very much. And I'm curious to listen to your questions or thoughts or opinion. Thank you. Barbara, thank, thank to you, like, because you bring really, Yay. you bring uh, like uh, you bring diversity and i think this is important and what you said like we really need to to you know cross the borders and really thanks for for presenting the uh, 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 unbelievable work of, of you and all who it's involved and let's uh, keep in touch and see in transit or in some you know space somewhere. So uh, just uh, uh, information for all of you, uh, before uh, Deborah performance, we will go in break up, breakout room. People, uh, Barbara, have a very short time. I hope that you will also come with us in the room because uh, maybe this is opportunity to people ask you uh, till Deborah prepare herself. So this is the way to, to you got the question from the participants. It's okay for you? to stay a little bit more with us. Yeah, sure, sure, I will okay. be here. Okay, <laughs> so uh, people, we will move for the short, uh, but precious time uh, in the breakup room uh, with Barbara, and then we will continue with uh, Deborah and performance awaits.